911. I just heard a lot of loud uh, yelling from one of the neighbors' apartment. I was outside the window, and from what I heard, there's a dude in there refusing to leave. He's just going crazy. And is anyone in danger right now? Somebody said he has a gun. Cops are on their way. Who are you speaking to? My neighbor. Can you talk to her real quick? I was trying to call the cops, and he took my phone and started smashing it on the floor. I need his gun. It's so the worst case scenario as we get on scene and somebody's still pointing a gun at somebody. I was going to call the police. He doesn't have a gun, but he has a knife on him. OK. Step out here right now. You step out. out here right now. Are you the only one in there? No. Who is in there with him? Get away from me. Get away from me. Go right there at the bottom of the stairs. Fairbanks, yeah. please step out here now. <laughs> Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! I want you to slowly walk down the stairs and show me your hands. Fairbanks police, step down here now and show us your hands. Got less lethal. 19's got taken. Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Everything! Drop it! Stop! Show us your hands. Hands up in the air. Turn around and face away from us. Back down. Stop. Stop. Slower. Back down slower. It was said that this male had threatened the victim with the knives. So we go inside and we start clearing, and we were able to get him into custody without incident. All right, ma'am. We still have some investigating. All right, so I'm trying to get a clear story. He came in, you told him to leave, and then he grabbed your phone and smashed it. He had broken the victim's phone to prevent her from calling the police. We take that pretty serious. What is he to you? It's important to figure out the relationship between the two in order to determine what we're going to charge. And if it was domestic violence. He's your ex. In the state of Alaska, marriage isn't only domestic. It's roommates or anybody that's had a past sexual relationship. All right, thank you. She's like, there's no relationship. I said, you guys have had intercourse before. She's like, yeah. City of five, can you roll me another unit? I have a male acting suspicious. I'm pretty sure he's 1099. Tell so we're heading to um, help assist Officer Wicks, and he thinks he's got a guy with a warrant. It's always good to respond to these in numbers. What's your name, sir? Tony. The person identifying himself is Tony. No one's coming up under that name. That's your nickname. OK, what's your real name? So why did you lie to me about your name? I go by Tony. A lot of my friends call me Tony, you know? All right, hang tight for a sec. City 05, can you run a? 10-4, there is a probation for 10-4. You're under arrest. Why? So your probation wants you remanded. I'm just making sure you don't got any weapons on you. I don't, sir. Like, honest shot, I don't. OK. I'm going to let you know that probation also wants us to search the vehicle. You either give me your name, or you're coming out of the car and going in handcuffs. That's a small criminal community here in Fairbanks. And normally, guys with warrants hang out with other guys with warrants. What's up, man? I'm just trying to tell what's going on. That's it. That's the passenger. This is the same guy that assaulted his ex-girlfriend with a knife. Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it. Hey, why don't you go ahead and step on out, man? PO wants to search the vehicle. So we were searching the vehicle to look for any weapons or drugs. Check this backpack right here. Well, she was holding on to that thing like your life, man. Jesus. There's a gun in the back. There's a gun in here. It's important to figure out who the gun belongs to because they're both felons. Felons not supposed to be in possession of a weapon. So I know that you told me that was your backpack, and you kind of hinted you were like someone made you put the gun in there, but it wasn't your gun. Someone else put it in there. Can you tell me who had the firearm? Who reached back? It was Tony. All right. Can you let probation know that had a firearm on him? The suspect gave the girl in the back seat a loaded handgun to hide. He was on probation, so we arrested him for his probation violation.